did you know you can actually play Monster Hunter now, right now? Hello everyone and welcome to Anything Geek, my name is Zero and if you are in pain waiting for Monster Hunter now to release on the 14th of September, you might be in luck. Or maybe not. We'll talk about that. So Monster Hunter Now is the next game from Niantic to be released on Android phones and it will offer a watered down version of the Monster Hunter experience on mobile phone just like Pokemon Go did before. The goal of the game is to go on short hunts for monsters whilst traveling around your town or anywhere in the world and the game will sure have a lot of Pokemon Go vibes. If you've played that game before you certainly know how this game will work. It's not gonna be that complicated. Like I said the game comes out on September 14th but the game is actually in soft launch in several regions of the world and that's where we can use a bit of technology to get into the game far much earlier than everybody else. So I thought I'd made you guys this little guide if you want to play the game early. It's actually fairly simple but before you get into the game there are prerequisites to get in. Like I said, the game is actually in soft launch in four regions of the world and so we need to be in one of those regions if we want to be able to download the game from the Play Store. Those four regions being Canada, Sweden, Hong Kong and Singapore. If you live in one of those four regions, congrats, you can just rock on to your Play Store and just download the game from there and start playing. But for everybody else, you actually need something more. And what you need is actually a Play Store account in one of those four regions. And that's where this guide comes in. We're gonna do that with a VPN. Now, you can use the VPN of your choice as long as you can create a connection to one of these regions. So since I live in Europe, I'm gonna actually use Sweden since it is the closest geographically to me to create this new account to log into the game. So I'm clicking on Sweden as the VPN location I want. Now that you're in Sweden as per your VPN connection, the next thing we're gonna do is actually clear any data that we have in our cache from our phones to make sure that we can actually access the Play Store from Sweden and not the one that we have right now. So I'm just gonna go in the settings of my phone, stop force my Play Store application as well as go into stock edge use and go with delete data. And now when I go to the Play so I need to click on the upper right corner and click on the little arrow to show me all the accounts and the option and I just want to add a new account. We're gonna add a new Google account and here on this screen we're actually gonna create a new account. Brand new for this operation. Now you can create the account however you want but I'm just gonna input names and stuff related to this channel so we know that this is actually intended for these tutorial purposes. Next you're gonna be prompted to create your own email either select one of those that is shown or create a personalized one then you can just set up your password click on next and we have our new account next you're going to be required to accept condition of use and stuff like that but once it's done your phone will charge for a bit processing the information for your account Keep hydrated, drink water. And once this is all finally done, you're gonna get thrown back to the Play Store where you can click again on the upper right corner, click on the little arrow and you're gonna see all the accounts that you have. Select the one you just created. You're still on the VPN at this point. Do not turn it off. And now that you're actually there, you can actually search for Monster Hunter now and just click install. Of course, it's gonna take a bit of a time for you to download the game on your phone. Once this is done and the game is installing, do keep the VPN active at this time. Hit play, get into the game. The application is gonna ask you for your birthday, just input that, and then hit the new player button. It's gonna ask if it needs to create an account using your Pokemon Go credential. You say no, sign in another way. Choose Google as your login option and click on the account that you've just created that is in Sweden. The game will then prompt you to review and accept the terms of service to continue. You can activate or turn off the push notification, email events and stuff like that. Once you've selected you click accept and you need to review the privacy policy, basically just administrative stuff. It's also gonna need access to your location because that's a geolocalization game and it's gonna download additional data. You click ok to all that, the game is gonna download 
the data that it needs to play and once it's done installing you'll be prompted to create your character now do keep the vpn active at this time we're going to turn it off soon and you won't need it any further to play the game i'm just gonna select the first guy click next enter your name we're gonna be a geek let's click ok confirm game is loading and creating my player data on niantic servers and once you get in you're gonna be prompted with the story of the game so let's go through the introduction uh, this is the wall you call home, but as you're out for a walk... You, over there, save me! A cat-like creature surrounded by a horde of monster beckons to you for help. Use that, and you stand a chance! The furry creature frantically gestures toward the weapon at your feet. What this on, you? Toning their armor past to you, you feel an explicable surge of power welling from within. Yow. Don't you eat me, monster! You'll be coughing up apples! You over there, let me a pow! Am I doing the cat right? So you're gonna be going through the tutorial of the game starting with the sword and shield and the combat is very simple. It's just tap tap but it's good tap tap. And once you're done you're gonna have more scenarios to go through. At this point you can pretty much close the game if you want. Turn off your VPN as you see mine's off and I'm just gonna go back to the game to show you that now you can safely play without needing for a VPN. You might need the VPN to update the game if they drop an update. That being said, we don't know if they're gonna keep the data and uh, and boom, there it is, back into the game. Now, since I already have an account on the game and I've been playing for uh, a few weeks now, uh, I'm just gonna hop back into my account that I've used so far. But at this point, you can safely turn off the VPN and you're not gonna need it to play anymore. As you can see, my VPN's off and now I'm gonna hop back into the game with my own account that I've used so far and you will see that I will have no trouble playing the game without the VPN on. The only time that you're gonna need to turn on the VPN again is when you need to update the game. That being said, when the game will finally be released, you won't need a VPN anymore. However, we won't know if the data from soft launch will be erased to create a more fair level amongst hunters in the game. And uh, you can actually see with my loadout that I'm actually doing fairly well uh i've hit it a uh, roadblock with an urgent quest on the diablos but for now let's do a quick demonstration of what it is like to hunt monster now i'm gonna make short work of this kuruyaku because my weapon is way overpowered although i could take maybe one of my other weapon to show you how this work um Yes, I'm a long sword user, sue me. Uh, and you see that you can actually solo hunt, uh, hunt with nearby hunters or use a paintball. If you use a paintball, the, the monster will be marked and you can hunt it down later. And when there are other hunters around you, you can actually hunt with nearby hunters and they will get a prompt to join your hunt with four people max to go on a hunt. Right now I'm just gonna go solo and let's do that Kuliyako. So you have two attacks, you have the single tap that you can chain to get a combo, you can of course dodge on either side, you can dodge back or you can get in with a quick forward jump and then it's just like hitting the monster dodging the hits but you also have with any weapon you also have a long press attack which in my case since i'm a lonzo user it just shits the blade and then dashes forward you can see i just did it to dodge the attack let's do that again i hit and then i can just get back in and kill the monster boom there it is And that's what a hunt looks like. And that is also how you get into the game early. Bear in mind, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This is a soft launch, okay? The game is out in Canada, Sweden, Hong Kong, Singapore. We don't know if the data are gonna be wiped 
when the real launch is gonna happen so we don't know if we're gonna keep that progress i think we're not gonna keep that progress this is just to experience the game early and see if you like the game and want to play more but regardless of that the game is gonna be launching on the 14th of september so that's not that far off and let me know in the comments as this guide helped you to get into the game faster did you plan on playing this game before i started talking about it are you hyped for the game are you a long time monster hunter fan because i am i started with freedom unite and it was awesome and i've accumulated thousands of hours on multiple games across the series i'm very hyped for this game because i get to play monster hunter on the go pokemon go has been on the decline for a while now and it's just it's it's badly handled i think i do hope that they avoid those mistakes with monster hunter now but that will be all for this video please leave me a comment down below with your thoughts on this anyway guys Guys, thanks you very much for watching and if this video has been at least entertaining to you please leave a like it really helps me a lot and while you're doing that don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to never miss anything geek bye guys